Well, hello everybody. This is Alan, and welcome to Gardening with COPD. So, this video is a combination of some garden update and also some questions about what's wrong with the trees. Because if you look up here, you just see all the brown. The ends of the trees are just getting hit by something. It's not just this one tree. You can happen on some maple trees over here. We can pan around. Okay, so this is like, a, I think this is called a tulip tree. I'm not really sure. But that over there, that's a pin oak. And you can see all the, the dead up there too. And this is a maple tree. And it's got damage. These are some other maple trees and they got some. And back there, there's cherry trees, oak trees, tulip trees, hickory trees. You can go down the whole street. There's trees way down there, the edge of the field. It has the same thing going on. Over at the, the neighbors, they got a white oak. And it's happening there too. And if I walked around to the back, you'd be able to see just all the trees all around here have the same thing going on. So, you know, it's been warm. It's not been a drought. And I just, I can't figure it out. Did they spray us with something that killed the trees? Or, oh, what's going on? It's just a mystery. So, that, I mean, I don't know what to tell you. So we started off down there at the sunflowers, and they're growing really well, aren't they? I mean, that one, it's got to be seven foot tall already, maybe more. There's a little jasmine clones from the other video. There's a banana tree growing. And I got some weird stuff going on with the onions. I don't know if it's related to the trees, but a lot of them just aborted. They were doing so good, and they aborted, and some of them are even soft and rotted. I, don't, I just don't, I don't know it. Some, some of them are nice and firm still, but it's a mystery. Something's going on. Never seen nothing like this before. And I did some changes out here in the garden. You know, we did have some high winds a couple days ago. It's not enough to cause all this damage to the trees, though. We've had high winds before. This has never happened. This is something else. You know, the, the cedar is not affected. But all the other trees are. You can see the wind tried to blow this over. And I really think if I wouldn't have had these nets on here, it would have done a whole lot more damage. And it blew over the peppers. So, of course, peppers are known for having problems. You can see the cucumbers are growing right up this fence. We got some cucumbers growing. They're being, they're, that one's getting close to ready. And there's some more over here. And just come along and help this out to grow. Stay on the fence now. We got little baby squashes. I picked my first squash yesterday. It's inside. It came off of, uh, I think it came off of over there. And this one is uh got a bunch too. It's hard to see through all the leaves. But they're in there. And the tomatoes are kicking it. See? I gotta come out here and rearrange all the, the fence. I get the netting. I call it fence because it's deer fence, but it's netting. You can see the tomatoes down here. Growing real good. Now these two down here, 
I had an idea of what I was going to do, and my idea has failed. It, you know, an experiment is an experiment. You learn something from them, so it's not really a total failure. I'm still going to get tomatoes, but they just bushed out, and this fence netting, whatever, is not helping anything. It's just getting pulled down. So whatever the critter is that comes up here, came up here yesterday and ate off of this. I covered it back up with some more netting because I don't want to lose them leaves. And I here's a different experiment. So let's get to where the sun's not in my face. What I did with these is you know, I got the same posts in the ground, but I put this up at the top, this piece of board. I drilled some holes here, stuck it up in there, tied it on, brought strings down, and letting it, I'm wrapping it by hand up the string. I trimmed off a lot of the suckers and some of the leaves. You can see there's a little baby tomato started. And these are the ones I had to replant after we got that early frost and the first tomatoes didn't do real good. In fact, most of them all died. But I, I think this is going to work a whole lot better. Better airflow. The growth is more controlled. And more of it's going to go into tomato production instead of growing leaves like what we got over there. Well, the main purpose of this video here, see these onions, they're growing good. They're not rotted, they're nice and firm, they're still growing. Got one weird one right here, it looks like it's trying to grow upside down, which is just bizarre, but there it is, you know, it's growing. And as you can tell, I need to weed badly. <sighs> But the main thing about this video was the weirdness going on with the trees. I can't figure it out, but all of these trees, I mean, even the magnolias were affected. And now they got this laggy growth going on. I don't know if you can see that real good where the, it's coming up into the flower head. It's all stretched out. And it's doing that all over, but you can just see the dead in there. It's all over. What is going on? I mean, that magnolia looks really sick. That doesn't look good. The leaves are all brown. What is going on? If this is happening around you, I'd like to, to know if this is a localized event or if this is widespread. Because it's on this whole street. And I've never seen anything like it before. Some of the trees down there are a lot worse than some of the others. You know, did we get sprayed like bugs? You know, you see them planes up there spraying all the time. I don't see any at the moment, but you know, they've been spraying us for years. And did they put something in there that's affecting the trees? Is is it something else? Did the, did the sun put out some rays that just killed everything? It's weird. It's like something out of a movie. Anyway, I think that's all I got for you right now. If you've stuck with it this long, I, I really appreciate you tuning in. Be sure to like, share, subscribe. Leave a comment below. These leaves are just blowing my mind. So, thanks for tuning in. Have a blessed day, and we will see you next time.